The village of Eerde was one of the uh, crucial uh, uh, battlegrounds during Market Garden. So between the 17th and 24th, this was hell on earth. Of all the people of Eerde, when I say that the word appreciation applies to you all. You dedicate your lives to preserving and restoring peace and freedom wherever in the world you're needed, which is always far away from home. September 17, 1944, our country was at war. The people of Eerde had gathered in the church in the morning to pray. Messages from France and Belgium made it made it known that the liberators were on their way and let's stand for freedom justice and humanity here in europe and beyond i am honored to be with you to pay tribute to the 101st airborne division the destruction of world war ii did not spend spell the end for erda because the people quite literally came together to build a better future. But even as we gather here together, once again, we see clouds of war on the edge of Europe. Just a couple hours flight from here, we see the same kind of battle raging in Ukraine. The same kind of battle that all of our brave soldiers were fighting for right here in the Netherlands during World War II. An autocratic, aggressive country is tearing up its neighbor and pursuing conquest through war. Peace is not something we can take lightly. And the soldiers joining me from the 2nd Brigade Combat Team, the 502nd Infantry, and the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault tonight represent just a small detachment of the American Army's return to Europe, defending the peace that our World War II heroes worked so hard to secure during the battles we commemorate this weekend. These free medial soldiers embody our enduring commitment to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and they proudly stand alongside the Netherlands and the rest of our allies, just as they did during World War II, the Cold War, Afghanistan, and Iraq. It moves us deeply when we hear and learn about war in our country, as well as the other countries involved. We are very proud of the people who helped to liberate our, our country. They sacrificed their lives for our freedom. We are honored by the visit of veteran Vincent Speranza to our school, and we were impressed by his story. Our class is hoping that no one will suffer the same as in World War II.